Hello and welcome to this learning video. In this learning video, we are going to start a brand new topic, Fourier series. So before we start this topic, let me tell you the wonderful applications of Fourier series. Fourier series has its application in electrical engineering, vibrational analysis, acoustic, optics, signal processing, in image processing as well, quantum mechanics and econometrics and many more. So these are the applications of Fourier series, meaning thereby it has a wide application in many of the fields. So it is very important as far as the future scope is concerned and as far as your syllabus is concerned. Okay. Now the man behind this uh, Fourier series is a mathematician Joseph Fourier and so he introduces a series named after him okay now you may be wondering what this Fourier series is all about so the Fourier series is a way of representing a periodic function as a possibly infinite sum of sine and cosine functions because dealing with the sine and cosine is far easier than treating a complex function okay now we use this Fourier series to represent or to write a function into a trigonometric polynomial okay now you may be having a question like does Fourier series exist for all the functions so the answer is no as I said the Fourier series is a way of representing a periodic function into a possibly infinite series, possibly infinite sum of sine and cosine. Okay, so Fourier series exist only for periodic functions. Now, what is the advantage of learning this Fourier series? The main advantage of using this Fourier series is that decomposing a function, which is difficult to treat, into a sine and cosine function which is easily soluble. So the very important thing in this Fourier series is the periodic function. So you must be uh, very good at uh, uh, periodic functions. So let us see the definition of periodic function. Okay. So uh, the definition of periodic function you might have seen in physics like uh, a function which repeats and after, after an equal interval of time is called a periodic functions. Okay, so let us start with the mathematical definition of periodic function followed by definition of Fourier series. So here it is a definition of periodic function. A function f of x is said to be a periodic function if there exists a positive real number say t greater than 0 such that f of x is same as f of x plus t for all x okay then the least value of this t is called the period of this function f of x okay the very basic examples that everyone knows is that sine and cosine sine and cosine functions are periodic functions with period 2 pi okay now you may be uh, saying like so sine x plus 2 pi is equal to sin x. Sin x plus 4 pi is also equal to sin x. Sin x plus x plus 6 pi is also sin x. Sin x plus 8 pi is also sin x. But in the definition itself is written the least value of t. So what is the least value of t? 2 pi, 4 pi, 6 pi, 8 pi after equal interval of 2 pi the function we are getting the same function right so this least value is 2 pi that's why this sine function is periodic function with period 2 pi okay and same is for the cos okay those who are interested in uh, drawing the graph so they can have uh, a wave propagation of sine function okay and it is like this is one cycle okay this is zero this is pi this is 
sorry this is pi by 2 this is 3 pi by 2 this is 2 pi okay so this is sign for this is the graph for sine. this is say 4 pi okay now simple so as you can see this uh, wave propagation for this uh, sin x is repeating after an equal interval of 2 pi right so this repeats like up to 2 pi and then after 2 pi again it is having a crystal trough so talking in terms of physics okay so i want you to uh, draw a graph for cos so you can try this at home okay like the sin and cos uh, tan 10x is also a periodic function with period pi, okay? So, 10x plus pi is 10x for all x. So, these are the notation for all x. This stands for, stand for all x, okay? Or you can read it as for all values of x, okay? Now, if this definition of periodic function is clear, then you are very much eligible to learn the definition of Fourier series. Okay, so let us see what this Fourier series is. Just give me a moment to clean this and then we can start with the definition of Fourier series. Now this Fourier series uh, is a topic which is like jo dar gaya wo ghar gaya. Okay, so uh, it, you may feel it like a, a difficult one but if you go with the very basics you will find this is the easiest uh, topic we have in our syllabus. Okay, so let us uh, start with the Fourier series, definition of Fourier series. So what is Fourier series? A trigonometric series, it is a trigonometric, a trigonometric series of the form A trigonometric series of the form a0 by 2 plus summation n is equal to 1 to infinity an cos n pi x by l plus bn into sine n pi x by l is called a Fourier series is called is called a Fourier series for Fourier series of the function f of x of the function f of x defined in the interval defined in the interval close interval c to c plus 2l okay where what is the c the c is any real number if and only if if and only if a0 is equal to 1 by L integration 0 to sorry here the interval is C so C to C plus 2L F of X DX A N is equal to 1 by L integration C to C plus 2L F of X into cos N by X by L DX and bn is equal to 1 by l 
integration c to c plus 2l f of x into sine n pi x by l dx okay where what is this a0 am and bn where where a0 an and bn are called are called as Fourier coefficients are called as Fourier coefficients. So this is nothing but the definition of Fourier series. So what is Fourier series? A trigonometric series of the form like this is a Fourier series of the function f of x defined in the interval c to c plus 2l where c can be any real number the c later on we'll see the c will take the values 0 minus l okay this value c would be taking and uh, we say this is to be Fourier series for this function f of x if and only if a0 is this an is this and bn is this okay where this a0 a and bn all these are Fourier coefficients okay now depending on the values now depending on the values of the C and uh, this uh, uh, L we have different cases okay so if suppose suppose we have this C is equal to 0 if this C is equal to 0 then what is my interval my interval is 0 to 2L okay so if my interval is 0 to 2L then what would be what would be this uh, Fourier series for this the Fourier series would be this f of x equal to this into interval 0 to 0 to 2L and it should be like 0 to 2L f of x dx 0 to 2L f of x this 0 to 2L okay so depending on the value of c and the value of l we have different uh, cases for the Fourier series expansion of f of x so in the very upcoming video lecture we are going to start with the Fourier series for the function f of x defined in the interval 0 to 2 l later on case this is case 1 this is uh, case 1 in the case number 2 we will take uh, c is equal to 0 again and the interval 0 to 2 pi okay later on case number in case number 3 what we are going to do we are going to take c is equal to minus l c is equal to minus l and the interval becomes minus l to l okay and also for c is equal to minus l the fourth case interval uh, c is equal to minus pi you can take so this is okay minus l2 l plus 2l is minus l plus 2 okay this and again we will be taking an interval minus pi to pi also okay so these are the four different cases on which we are going to solve the problems so in the very upcoming video lecture we are going to discuss about the Fourier series expansion of f of x when f of x is defined in the interval 0 to 2l where c is equal to 0 okay so i hope this introductory lecture is uh, clear to you so i want you to go through it once uh, one more time as in when you get time because this these are the basics if you don't able to remember anything of uh, any of the terminologies that we have discussed in this learning video you may not be able to solve the problems in Fourier series okay and to solve the problems here as you can see there is this integration so you should have a good hand in integration because as you can see here in finding out a n and b n Fourier coefficient a n and b n uh, you have to apply integration by parts okay so uh, you should be good at uh, applying the integration by parts to the functions okay 
and that's what we have in this learning video so thank you for watching this learning video and enjoy learning mathematics thank you